It has been announced that the motor vessel St. Clair will be towed to Canada for scrapping. Damaged by an internal fire that broke out on February 16, 2019, while the boat was in winter layup, the 770-foot-long lake boat was declared a total loss in mid-September of 2021. The St. Clair was launched at Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin on July 24, 1975, and at the time was the largest vessel ever side-launched. She measured 770 feet long, 92 feet in beam, and 52 feet in depth, with a 44,800 ton capacity. She was huge, she was square, and not very elegant. But she got the job done. Although she was intended for the coal trade, her first cargo was iron ore pellets taken at Escanaba and delivered to Indiana Harbor on May 4, 1976. Her owners, the American Steamship Company, normally ran her between Duluth and the coal-burning power plants of the Lower Lakes. She made her final downbound passage in the final days of December 2018, before being laid up in winter quarters at Toledo. It was during that time that a fire broke out somewhere in her aft lower decks. The fire consumed her aft cabins and spread to her unloading belts, which ran the length of her cargo hold. The intense heat caused by the fire was enough to damage her steel structures so that she was no longer seaworthy. The exact cause of the fire has not yet been released. The St. Clair will be the largest vessel ever scrapped on the Great Lakes. Additionally, of the dozen 1970 Title XI vessels, she is the first to be scrapped. Her original cost was $24.3 million, which would be $123,562,789.96 in 2021. She will be towed to the scrapyard this fall. So long to the St. Clair. We'll miss you.